Thick fog. It's not what you want to see on the way to the airport. And a sea of red like this will infuriate even the most frequent of flyers. We can't see anything. The first thing that we notice on the radar is that they disappear from the airborne radar and we see them on the ground radar. We'll hear the reverse thrusters. That's a good sign. And before we had ground radar in the old tower, uh, that's how we would tell if they landed. But travellers are likely to face fewer fog delays at Melbourne and Perth airports. Just now 705, from my 34 cliff for takeoff. They're the only two in the country with the most advanced system for landing planes in very heavy fog, when visibility is down to 75 metres. As we call it cat free, that's our local terminology. Melbourne's had the ground based system for several years and Perth got it last month. It's made up of three parts. Antennas sending signals to the cockpit about where to find the runway. Powerful flashing lights guide pilots into the right position. And sensors like these measure visibility. Vehicles or aircraft can interrupt those signals. Just the physical presence of them can get in, in the way of the signal. If there was an unknown vehicle out there, then we would send the airport safety officer to go and investigate. Both Melbourne and Perth only have one runway with the landing system. Wind 360 degrees, 15 knots, runway 34, clear to land. And not all pilots can handle very thick fog. It all depends on the aircraft equipment, what's the uh, the aircraft is fitted out with and also the pilot training as well. Air Services Australia says the cost of installing and maintaining the system cannot be justified at other airports. This task is only going to get harder. By 2038, about 70 million passengers a year are expected to pass through Melbourne Airport. We're nearing capacity for our two runways and hence we started planning for our third runway. The project still needs Commonwealth approval and if that happens, the airport says it's planning to install the necessary equipment so all its runways can be certified for landings in heavy fog. It's the best office in Melbourne. Well, we've got the uh, ideal view on the weather, plus then when it transitions tonight, it's another, another world as well, so no, never get sick of it. Always glad to go home on the end of the day, of course. But <laughs>